You are at Lake Rant, where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus pages want me to rant about. You can get one of these by being one of those. This one is for Death Pie, who says, rant about Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei. I love Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei. It was one of the shows that made me a huge fan of director um, Akiyuki Shinbo, who I've done some videos about, as you may know. Um, and Studio Shaft, I, you know, I had seen Hidamari's sketch, Zetsubo came out, and I was like, this is the fucking next level, the visuals were as specifically appealing to me as possible, the, the weird depressive suicide imagery that's prevalent throughout it, the, you know, the, the laughing sort of darkness behind everything, the, the grim ending theme visuals, um, I had the, the, the picture of Fuka with the, um, the mask on as my birthday cake that year. And, um, unfortunately it took a long time for the show to get subbed. So I didn't end up actually finishing the first season until, like, more than a year after it aired. The second season, likewise, still haven't watched the third season or the OVA. Um, but, uh, somewhat recently, May and I had rewatched the first season and a half while smoking lots of weed. And it was a lot of fun, let me tell you what. Uh, the show has, you know... Great commentary, social commentary, political commentary, just goofy ass gags. Um, it's I, I love the I love the overall just like pitch black sense of humor that it pulls no punches. It's not afraid of anything. It will tackle any subject with a dark sarcastic flavor. Um, it will present some very fucked up things as just you know breezy and funny and like doesn't really matter that much. Um, you know, it never, like, feels dark, even though the things that are happening and that the characters are saying are, like, as dark as it could be. It never feels dark, which is something I really appreciate. Um, I do think that sometimes the jokes, like, uh, a lot of the time the way the show is formatted is just, like, here's a topic, let's riff on this, like, mimetic structure of a joke for 15 minutes. Like, um, a character will say something like, um... You know, uh, this should be legal, and then the other person say, "This outrageous thing should be legal. This outrageous thing should be legal," and they just go on like nothing that unclever. But like, you know, it will just be repeating the same joke over and over again with like a mad lib of insert the other thing. Um, sometimes it will even like do that up to a point, and then there will just be a list of every other permutation on screen behind the character, which is pretty funny. Um, but yeah, like, sometimes it could be a little bit repetitive, it could be pretty stupid, uh, the art and animation quality is not always there to any extent, uh, but, you know, it's one of those shows where they really put a lot of thought into making the visuals interesting regardless of how much quality there was, regardless of how much actual animation they could get away with, or, you know, um, things like that. Sorry, I keep stopping, I'm trying to also do a file transfer and get some other stuff done while I record my rants. But yeah, um, you know, I, I had a video idea for Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei at the time that we rewatched it, but I'm struggling to remember what it was. Because I had, uh, oh, I think I was going to talk about how the show, and I, and I need to do more research on this to confirm, but I think that the show is basically supposed to be like a two-channel message board in show form. Because the way that the characters communicate, it's sort of like uh, Sensei is OP on a thread, and like they've you know they've set the topic for this thread, and then it's just everyone's responses to that thread. And of course, the fact that there are tons of two-channel memes in the show, um, often written on the chalkboard in the background or spoken by characters. Um, yeah, I get the impression that it's basically meant to be a recreation of a message board in a school setting. Um, but one where every character has some kind of specific anti-moe trait, where like, whereas in a normal um, show, because it's also kind of a parody of uh, Negima, where in that show it's like every character has some defining moe characteristic. In this show they have a defining personality disorder, which for, you know, for someone like me is even more moe, because it's more relatable and fun to see characters like that. So, um, you know, I, I feel like Zetsubo Sensei is, like, very core to my tastes in general. Like, even if it's not necessarily one of my favorite shows just because I think it's somewhat inconsistent, um, I still think that, like, in terms of hitting the sweet spot of, like, what I'm naturally interested in, 
it's pretty high up on the list. So I, I consider myself a big fan. Um, it's a shame that there's not more like merchandise for it available in America, since I don't really have a, a lot of representation of that. Though I do have an Itoshiki um, Nendoroid. But yeah, uh, if I could think of a way to make that point about it being kind of a message board more fleshed out, I would do a video about that. But, um, you know, I don't know enough about 2Channel or enough about specific memes from the show to say more than just the statement, hey, it's like a message board in real life or in a, in a, in a show. But yeah, love it. Big fan. Oh, the OPs. Holy shit. All the fucking Kenji, Kenji Otsuki and Zetsubo Shoujo Tachi songs. I have the, I actually own a physical copy of the CD um, that has like all the OPs and other songs that they did with that cast. And I fucking love that music. I believe that the Coltar of the Deepers guy is the one who wrote most of it. Um, and I love that guy and Coltar of the Deepers. So that's some fucking ill shit. Definitely check that out if you're into like experimental sort of post-rock, post-grunge maybe even. I don't know what I would call it. It's um, it's a very unique sonic style that they created on those OPs. If you enjoyed the OPs, by all means, check out the, the, the Kakurenbo album. Yeah, good shit. I gotta rewatch the rest of it and finally finish season three. God damn it.